Good to go. Hey guys, Sean from Night Forest. We're gonna go over how to set the zero stop on an ATAC R5-25. Uh, this will be applicable to most zero stop models that we make. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna take the rifle that's been zeroed at 100 yards and we're gonna first remove the cap by loosening the two side turret screws. So this will use a 5 64th bit on a 3X tool or an Allen key if you have one. Remove the cap, set aside. You got four screws underneath. Uh, we just need to loosen these. So I like to hold my fingers on so that it doesn't accidentally slip the turret. So now that those four screws are, are loose, we have the clutch system that rotates freely without making clicks. And then you have this little, little uh, lip on the turret itself and we're gonna push this clutch face against it. So that's where we're gonna hold it in place for our zero. So while again, holding, holding this clutch still, we're gonna tighten these screws down, but we're gonna do it in an X pattern just to snug first. And then we're gonna go four inch pounds, which is about an eighth of a turn past snug. So now that's in place. We're gonna line up the zero with the index point on the body tube. So we're gonna line it up in place. You might get a little bit of from the seal, so it might wanna bounce a little. So push down, and then we're gonna tighten the screws to, to again about four inch pounds to snug plus a little. So now our zero stop set, so when you dial up and you want to come back down, you're back at your 100 yard zero with a, or wherever your zero's at with a nice, uh, easy tactile, you don't even have to look at it to know that you're on zero. That's how you set a zero stop.